I'm going to show you guys where I feel is the top three places to upgrade the Graviton Lens Catalyst, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. As for the top three places to upgrade the Graviton Lens Catalyst, you might already be using them, so this video is strictly for those who do not know where to go. These methods are actually going to be good to get regular or cosmology kills in order to upgrade the Catalyst. But you can also use this method to farm any of the Catalysts that require you to get kills like the Tractor Cannon. Now, if you were lucky enough to go through that harsh grind this past faction rally, then many of us were able to get the Graviton Lance Catalyst from Dead Orbit, and like many predicted, Dead Orbit was going to win the first faction rally of Season 3 just because they had the Graviton Lance Catalyst. Yes, it was a terrible grind, but a necessary one, due to the Graviton Lance Catalyst having hidden hand, as well as heavily increasing the range on the weapon. Anyway, what you want to actually do is look for the areas where there are a lot of Thrall that swarm around. As you guys can see, one of the best places to upgrade the Graviton Lance Catalyst is to go to Titan and make your way to the rig and do the public event with the Hive. This area is actually a two-part area because after this, we will be going somewhere else. Now, it's best if you do this solo because you will not, and I repeat, you will not get credit if someone in your fire team gets the kills. It has to be you. Also, you want to make the public event heroic. This will give you more time to kill Thrall coming out of the portal and on the sides of the portal. For some, it's very hard to do solo, but it can be done. The Thrall swarm out of the portal in waves, so make sure you aim for the head in order to get that one shot kill. If you are going for regular kills, then keep smashing that trigger, but if you are going for cosmology kills, then you need to slow down a little bit. When doing this public event, even when there are other smurfs joining you, a lot of people just focus on the boss, which in turn allows you to focus on the Thrall. What you want to do is position yourself in front of the portal, but not too close, and just keep shooting directly in front of you while all of the other smurfs worry about the boss. After the public event is over, head out the door and make your way to the closest lost sector that have Hive. And in order to get the maximum effectiveness out of this area, you need to bait out the Thrall in most of these areas. And you want to continue to do so until you reach the boss at the end. Personally, I shoot all of the explosive before baiting because I don't want any of the explosives killing any of the Thrall. Now, when you get to the boss, take your time damaging him. If you take your time on the boss, then you can get about 4 to 5 waves of adds. But if you damage him too fast, then you won't get as many adds to spawn. This to me is probably one of the best out of the three ways because you can do it over and over without having to wait or get any or much interruption from other guardians. The second area is also done best if you are solo and that is Escalation Protocol. What you want to do is make your way to Mars and go into an area where you can activate Escalation Protocol that has no other guardians around. You obviously want no one around because once again, you won't get credit if you're doing cosmology kills if your cosmology doesn't get the kill. In Escalation Protocol, rounds 1 through 3 is when most of the thralls spawn and you just want to get all of your kills and then rinse and repeat. You can even do round 1 over and over given that people don't join you or you guys don't finish that first round of Escalation Protocol. Now, a friend of mine, Leon, had said that someone did Escalation Protocol and finished his Graviton Lance upgrade in about a little bit over an hour. And the last way isn't really a preferred way to do it because you have to rely on a faction war between the Fall and the High. This also takes place on the rig, but behind the public event I mentioned in the beginning. And, well, we all know what happens during the faction war. Enemies spawn out of every crack possible, so you pretty much just want to go nuts and have fun killing everything in sight. Yes, this is a short video, but it's meant to be short and straight to the point. Let me know in the comments section if there is any other area that you guys are using in order to get the kills for these catalysts done. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.